ass about them. I'm just going to say this, Landon Hacker. I, he stole my thunder because I was going to bring him to do this because I've never done that. But these guys are deserving. This is about them. All right. This is one. This is that that team won at Ole Miss. Right. That team won at Jacksonville State, who's picked ahead of us. And this this team Ben goes down. This, this team that that resiliency out there. And the hit, if we were trying to figure it out, six for six, our last six free throws. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here you guys. What take uh, it. could you update us on Ben? What uh, the status is? Turn angle. I told Brad he's got till tomorrow to get him well. <laughs> okay. Well, about a fifth. There you go. We got now. So now we have Justin Betts with a headset and Alec Freem with a headset and Garrett Tipton without a headset. So we're going to talk to Garrett first. No, we're going to talk to uh, to Justin and Alec first. Uh, guys, uh, I don't know what you can add there from what uh, what Coach was saying, but what was your thought going on? Number one, the conditions here uh, is like on a hockey rink. Uh, what was uh, was it was it harder one way or the other, offense, defense, or just bad both ways? It was pretty bad both ways. I would, I mean, they even the other players said that that's never been like this here. But, I mean, it was pretty much once every minute where they, we had to clean it up. But both teams had to play with it. And there was it was warm in the building here, uh, so that that obviously had something to do with it. You knocked down a couple of free throws here right at the end. How about those there that uh, kind of salted one way, uh, salted it away after you had one taken away from you when they blew a whistle for some reason I'm not sure of. But anyway, you, you made them when they counted. Yeah, it felt good. I mean, we had a lot of guys make free throws down the stretch including Justin and Landon and I think I just followed them nothing special <laughs> uh, you uh, Justin you see Landon do this all the time uh, mm. in practice with uh, the shooting so but again it's different when the game comes on you remember your freshman year and when the lights come on uh, but just kind of talk a little bit about his performance here tonight yeah he's incredible and his cool. his attitude has never wavered in practice and I think we all would agree that he's practiced well enough to play more than he has so far, and we got a lot of veteran guys that are ahead of him, but his opportunity came, and I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, I would have not ever been able to do that whenever. <laughs> I would, like, one of my first games ever playing, and um, he was he was awesome. I mean, three threes, four for four from the free throw line, 13 points um, <clears throat> in 15 minutes, which is crazy. So we couldn't be happier for Landon, and we love him. Um, and he's he's a great basketball player, but he's an, he's an even better teammate, and he's even, he's selfless, um, and we love him, and, and he's going to be a big player for us throughout the year as well. And we hope Ben uh, gets back quick, but Landon stepped up big time. All right, Justin, give your headset there over to Garrett, and uh, we'll bring him on here to this uh, uh, conversation. This is this is the D. Scott Neal coaches interview, so so if you want to talk like a coach, it's perfectly all right. Uh, Fee only financial advisors working for your best interests, of course. Uh, Garrett, uh, you made a couple of back-to-back -back field goals right there at the end, uh, and then uh, the uh, Knights able to kind of hold off coming down the stretch. Uh, you felt you've, you've been confident all year uh, from your offensive game, but where do you think you've kind of, kind of grown the most maybe as the season has gotten to this point? Well, I think uh, the big thing is we're always we're always moving. I think a little bit of last year, you know, we kind of gave it to Dylan, especially at this, I remember it clearly last year, we kind of gave it to Dylan, got out of the way. I don't think that's kind of what we're doing this year. Everybody's moving, creates lanes, um, and then just being able to find the baskets. I mean, it's late shot clock, and we'll be able to, you know, make shots down the stretch. And I think everybody did, starting at the free throw line, um, you know, with Landon and Alec as well, um, you know, and it's just something that we uh, we all kind of are excited about, you know, especially with Landon, you know, being the first uh, time he's played on the road in sure. a conference game. Uh, that's unbelievable. So I think he's uh, he's grown into it, and it's great. What was the biggest challenge on the defensive end tonight? Uh, they got downhill. We knew that. Uh, the Moorhead State game, actually, when we were scouting, they only shot two threes the entire game. Um, so we knew they were going to get downhill. We knew they were going to, you know, attack hard. And, you know, down the stretch there they did. Um, but we also made guys shoot threes that don't usually shoot threes. And we got to be able to live with that. Um, and we did. We, we weathered the storm there. Um, to start the half, and then you know they're in the middle of the half as well, and uh, that's something that we weren't great at, you know, at the beginning of the year is finishing these games and being able to do it tonight. That's good confidence for us. Turnovers only eight tonight, Alex. So only 18 of the last three games. So quite an improvement. To how big of a factor was that? Uh, obviously for for Bellarmine tonight. It's huge. Obviously, it's been addressed with Coach D our past couple games. It's been a really sore spot in our game and. I think it feels good to get one of these games under your belt where you have such a low turnover game and show that it's possible, especially on the road in conference. It was massive. All right, well, we'll enjoy this trip home there tonight. Fellas, thanks for coming out on the coach's interview. Thank you. Justin, thank you. Thank you. And uh, Garrett, Alec, congratulations again.